this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a beaded wrap bracelet. The supplies that you will need include four feet of leather or cotton cord, and that can be one millimeter to two millimeters. Um, you could also use hemp, which would work well, um, or other variations of that tend to work just fine. You'll need approximately 200 rocale beads if you're doing a three wrap bracelet, which I'm going to show you in this tutorial. You'll need one medium button. You'll need thread, and I would just grab a whole spool of thread. When I show you this tutorial, you're going to use just about an arm span of thread to begin, and you will have to add more on as we go. We'll need a needle, a needle threader, which is optional, but is very nice to have. You'll need a pair of scissors, and you'll need a clipboard, or what we're going to use is just an old scrap board and a large paper clip. So let's begin. Let's start by taking your cord, your cotton cord or leather cord or hemp, whatever you chose to use, and your button. And what you're going to do, um, you have two options on this. You can slide the button on first and um, work with it that way. Or in my class, um, what I have the kids do is actually put the button on last. So to begin, they're going to make a loop and they have to slide the button in to make sure that the loop is large enough for that button to hook into at the end because that serves as your clasp. So once you make the loop, you're just going to knot it like that. And before you pull it tight, just double check that that button's going to fit. Okay, perfect. And now you're going to use your board to clip, and I'll do this sideways here, clip on the cord. And you want to clip it so that it's, the knot comes just below the black clip here. Next, what we're going to do is take the thread, and we're just going to take about an arm span of it. Trim that off. Thread your needle. If you have a needle threader to use, that's great. That's super helpful. We'll just thread it there. And then what you're going to do from here is take the two ends together, hold them like they're one piece, and tie them on to the left side of your cord. And you want to make sure that when you tie it, you tie these so that the knot is just below the knot in the cord. So I'm going to tie it one more time. Scoot that up. I'm going to trim off the excess. Scoot that up again. And if you wanted to keep um, the cords really still, you could tape them to the back or add an additional clip to the bottom down here, and that will help keep them really still while you're working. And so this is a very simple weaving process. You're going to take your rocale beads, and what you're going to do is add one on. And I'm starting from the left side, or from your view, the top cord here. I slid the bead on, and now I'm going to go under the right side. And then I'm going to go back around and through that same bead and under the left cord again. And after the first one or two, those beads will fall right into place. So again, simple here. Grab your bead. And that's, so you slide your bead on. You're going to go under the right side, 
back over, oops, back over and through the bead and under the left side. So basically you're doing a figure eight pattern and um, with each bead you're going to pass through that bead twice, once when you go to the right and once when you go to the left. So I'm going to continue this pattern and um, I'll show you, I'm going to come back after I've gone far enough that I need to add on some thread. Once you get to the point where you are ready to add more thread on, so usually when you have three to four inches of your um, thread left here, what you're going to do is trim off the needle, just right below the needle, set that to the side, grab a new piece of thread, just about the same length that you had the first time, cut that, Thread the needle. Again, if you have a needle threader, feel free to use that. When you help several hundred students do this, you become pretty quick at threading a needle. So, Okay, so I've threaded the needle. I've gathered the two ends of the thread together. And then what I'm going to do is just tie those on to my existing thread here and you're just going to tie that in a knot and I always tell kids to um, make sure that they tie it at least three times two times especially will still allow that um, thread to slip around on you and the last thing you want is for your knot to come undone and your beads to slip off. So I'm going to tie it four times. And then I'll just trim off the extra ends here and then I'm ready to continue on and you'll uh, there's a good chance that the the knot will actually hide under a bead. If it happens to be on the side um, usually you'll never see it, especially on a three wrap bracelet. Um, there's going to be so much going on that you probably won't even see that anyway. So. And now you're just ready to continue. So I'm going to finish out the bracelet, put the rest of the beads on, and then when I come back, we'll be ready to put the button on and finish up the bracelet. Now that we have the bracelet finished up, um, and I checked to make sure that it would go around my wrist three times, I am going to show you how to finish the end. So there's two different types of buttons you could be using for this. Um, there is the one standard button with the four holes in it or this button here that has the loop on the back which is actually what we're going to use. Um, if you were to use this one what you would do is tie the two pieces of your cord together and then you would actually use your existing leftover thread here and just sew the button through the holes onto the knot that you create with your cord. So I'm going to set this one to the side because we're going to use this one here. So with this one, what you'll do is trim off your needle just below the needle there, trim the thread, um, and you're going to split your pieces of thread apart. Let's take this off. Split your pieces of thread, and what you want to do is put one strand with one cord and one with the other. It's kind of twisted here. So just like that. Then you will slide the cord on. I'm going to use my paper clip here to hold this side together. Okay. So I'm going to slide the button onto the cord and you want to make sure that you catch your one strand of the thread as well. So now I've got, I'm going to turn it over to the back here, I have one piece of thread and one cord through the, the hole of the button, the loop of the button, and then I have the other piece of thread and the other cord on this side. So now I'm just going to basically take the two, 
sections here and I'm going to tie them in a knot. By splitting that thread apart, you really just ensure that you don't risk the beads falling off. When you tighten it, so when you tie it, you want to be careful also not to tighten it too, too tight on that first tie or um, sometimes you can bunch up your beads. So now that I've tied that, I'm going to trim off my excess. Trimming the cord as well as the thread like that. I'm going to unclip this and now you'll see once this wraps around the button will go through your loop and that serves as your clasp so that's what holds it in place and now you're all finished up and like I had said before you can do several variations of this you could actually run multiple cords so that you could have more than one row of beads um, you could do different types of beads if you wanted to do larger beads smaller beads there's a million different things you could do with this so that is the beaded wrap bracelet please visit our website at www.cnhsart.com